B, have a license plate, inspection. So we've got registration, insurance, a VIN number, and an actual license plate nice. for our that we made, which means that we have passed all the government tests we needed to pass. We uh, were heading up there on Thursday to go put the license plate on, and then we can actually drive. So we met all the testing, product testing, driving, safety inspections, which means that we have made our own truck from the frame rails up that passed the government tests that it needed to do to be on the road. So as of just a few short days ago, we officially became an OEM manufacturer that built our own cab and chassis. Like that is a feat. Like we're talking dealerships where you've got, I mean, all the regulations and testing and how did you manage that? How did you oh, manage all like, of that? That fucking sucked. There's no way to say that that sucked. That sucked so much. I am, people are like wondering, they're like, hey, you did Topsy and like we hauled uh, DeBoss Garage's uh, Sherman tank there. And they're like, where's the more testing? How can we not drive it on the road? Be like, do you know how much paperwork is involved that you have to submit to prove that you built a vehicle that's safe to be on the road? And I'm like, there wasn't a lot of content because I basically was spending 14, 15 hours a day just at the computer with a bunch of other guys at the computer, submit this, submit that. Like there was probably like 10 people helping to just get this truck across and submit things. And that that sucked, but we no. did it. And it's I, done. I, I can't even imagine the nightmare. So where does that have to get done? Is that in, in BC, do they, or do you have to go to Ontario for something like that? Or Oh, that's a, even that's a lot of, like, how come that's not standardized? So we went, sent it off to Ontario because we had some great partners to go through all like fault detections, wiring harness issues, performance issues, integration issues, that, that a lot of the vehicle testing making sure that it worked the way it was supposed to work was all done in Ontario. But then we had to send it back to BC for the VIN number to be applied and the final safety inspection, or basically the oh. final safety inspection at a certified BC. Because we submitted the paperwork in BC, we had to get the VIN number stuck onto the vehicle in BC. In so BC. we did all the testing for everything. In Ontario, we had to ship it back so that we could do the final safety test 